G'day, if you've got to remove a fender on an N70 Hilux, uh, it can be a little difficult to do, and it's principally because of these little clips, okay, these fender clips. Uh, if you don't know how to get them out, it can be quite tedious, but they're really simple. Basically, the, the, the principal thing I'd want to tell you is that if, you're, if you've got trying to get these fender um, liner clips, or liner grommets, whatever you want to call them, if you're trying to get them out, they, they sit in here and they hold your inner guard to your fender and they also hold the inner guard to the bodywork. If you're wrenching on these things trying to get them out and it just will not come out, you're doing it wrong. They should be really simple. I broke the first one getting it out and then you know, watched a video um, or read some instructions on how to get them out. And after that, it was really simple. So they should pop out, you shouldn't break them, but if, you, um, if you're not doing it right, you will break them. So uh, what they are is they're a, little, they look like they're a little T piece. They've got a square end, so the end is square, and they've got a hole at the other end, which you can screw into with the little 10 mil head screws uh, that hold your fender flares on or your, fender or your mud flaps. Uh, that's, what hold, that's what holds them on. Uh, and to get them out, there's little tugs, and the tugs are on the diagonal, on the square. So there's one on this side, that's in there, and there's one on this side, that's in there. So they're little tugs, and you've got to push them in. And you can just push them in with a screwdriver, like that. You know, just, whoops. You just push them in with your screwdriver, and then they'll, they'll come out, they will let go. So I've got one here. It's not easy to get it out one-handed, but we're gonna give it a go. So just to try and show you, because on the inner guard, on the outside, what you do, just get a screwdriver or something between, be careful you don't scratch your paint, in between your guard and your uh, fender, uh, sorry, your, your inner guard and your fender. Put that in there and then just pull the plastic down a little bit, and you should be able to see um, where those little tugs are and where you've got to push, because you'll see one side will just be smooth, no point pushing on him. And then the other side will have the little, the little tag, um, tab sticking out. And you push on that. And if you're, because you'll be, you'll be levering on this inner guard and you'll be pushing on this little tab and then it'll, it'll come out on the, that side will pop down. You go, right, that's got him. And then you can get a little, I use a, um, a little right angle pick tool or if you had a little bit of flat steel or something on an, on an angle that you could get uh, get in between, go between the fender and the inner guard, in like that. And if that's like that, you put, I just put that in there, and then you just pull on that top, pull on the tag, which is on a diagonal to the side that you pull, pushed on before, and just push, pull that down, and it'll, it'll pop out. So I've got one in here on the inner guard that you should be able to see, uh, and I'll try and show you that now. I'll get the light on it and hopefully you can see um, how to get it out. Try and do this one-handed. Here we go, okay. So, there he is, that's him. So what you wanna do, so there's the tab, tab there. So there's the tab there. So if I push on that, you know, cause you'll be, you'll be pulling from that side and you, you'll see it just goes down. And I know it's easier coming from here, I get that, but you know, and then if you've got your little hook, and you'll just go from that side and you'll give him a pull. This is quite difficult to try and do it one-handed. I'll try and do it lefty. All right, here we go. And you'll just, you'll just pull, there we go. So that's out. So then from this side, I can grab it. It's, yeah, it pops straight out. So all you need to do is pull that, that tab there, push him down and then push that side down. And it's really, that's, you know, you can, you, there is enough room that you can get that in between your um, your fender will be up here, and then your fend your inner guard is there, and you'll be able to pull back on it until it lets go, um, and that's how the, and they'll pop to, it'll pop straight out. But really simple. If you're reefing on the thing, absolutely wrenching trying to get it out, you're doing it wrong. You're not on the clip. They come out really easy, and you shouldn't break them. So they are they're difficult if you don't know what you're doing, but you should be able to figure it out. You should be able to get them out um, without breaking them. Hope this was useful for you. Um, if you do need some additional, um, if you break some, 
These are, this is, there's lots of different part numbers. You can get them from Toyota in a pack of 10. This is one of the part number options. Uh, and this is uh, 901890620, comes in a pack of 10. And you can get some if you replace it. Uh, I'm fitting flares here in this instance. And if you're fitting flares in the factory SR5 style and you're going from an SR or a Workmate, which I am, uh, you need to buy some extras because um, there's one that goes under here with the flares that you don't get when you buy the flares. So that's why I've got a packet of them. But um, you can buy them. Uh, they're not very. They're not very much. They're like you know a bit under two dollars each for one of these. Um, so and your Toyota dealer probably has at least one or a few on the shelf. So hope that was useful for you. See you next time.